Well, it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night's end. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes there is nothing in pro sports quite like a ufc heavyweight championship fight that is a reality you've been there you've done that baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight yeah the champ walks again and he wears that proudly johnny wants to be called the champ he loves to be called the baddest man on the planet he is so skilled he's so dangerous he's so scary and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of this belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Big Daddy. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USA heavyweight champion of the world, the Apex. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. All right, so here we are, the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. It's crazy to think that not all that long ago, mixed martial arts was not regulated in New York. When that legislation came down, the UFC came strong, and we've been omnipresent ever since. John, we kicked the door in. Yes. If you're going to open, if you're going to say you're welcome in MSG, the UFC is coming. And every time we have gone there, we have brought phenomenal fight cards in some of the biggest moments in UFC history. Now, if the Knicks could just get their act Knicks will never get their act together. I'm a big Oh, he blocked that punch. Nicely done defensively. Going to the sidekick. Trying the flying knee there. Body kick lands. They are getting after it right out of the shoot. No feeling out process. These guys are here to end this fight quickly. Oh, nice kick. Oh, man, both of these guys can really take a shot. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Oh, nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. Nice counter shot there. Just missing on the high kick there. Ooh, big shot lands. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. 
You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Oh, beautiful counter. High kick landed for him there. Lands a beautiful leg kick. Caught the kick. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Way to hide that leg. Oh, found the target there with a straight right counter. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. Straight right hand now just misses. Doing a really good job of using that reach advantage. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Nice jab. All right now, they separate. Big shot to the head. Nice job by him defensively there. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. 90 seconds now to go in round one. Counters there with a jab to the head. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this. some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice. And he caught the kick. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. Caught that kick there. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. That is a clean strike, and it gets you right through the goal. Hands up, hands up. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Man, his side kick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good side kick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that sort of strike. Ah. Round two next. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. You ready to fight? You ready? Yeah. All right, round two. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous years. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. And he blocked the punch there. Oh, nicely done to block the strike and counter with the jab. Oh, nice right hand. Yeah. Back and forth we go. I mean, wow. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. 
very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Big power shot there. Over and over, this guy's getting hit right in his face. Oh, he hurt a bad with the jab. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Oh, nice counter jab there. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Just over three minutes to go. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're gonna be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've gotta do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in this second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, that head kick was nasty. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. A beautiful punch lands. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together. Tonight, he has landed a ton of significant strikes in. Pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right. And that doesn't happen very often. Under a minute now to go. Beautiful jab lands. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Right hook to the head blocked. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Side kick. Well done. All right, well, you can see in plain sight here, his leg is hurt, starting to limp a little bit. Yeah, you're starting to see him limping. I mean, you take so many leg kicks, you're, you're gonna limp. It's, it's natural. You gotta check these kicks right now, or that's gonna happen. So there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. 
Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Look at his calf, bro. It looks like somebody poured a bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon on his calf and left it there all night. <laughs> it's all red and it's swelling. He's going to have some difficulties. Look, it hurts right now, but I would not want to be this guy tomorrow. Looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Good work, guys. Now he's throwing that jab to the body. Those are the body kicks that'll crumble you. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the comfort that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Just under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, that calf is a new shade of purple right now. I'm not sure he's going to be able to stand up much longer. I mean, it's swollen, it's bruised, it's all beat up. He takes one or two more, this fight's going to be stopped. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Oh, that is a furious inside leg kick. You ever taken like a five? him out for the TKO, prioritized the finish tonight, absolutely gets it with style points, a huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 40 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Apex. All right, so a big result for a big man tonight as his star continues to shine. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the, the world. The baddest man on the planet is standing in the middle of that octagon right now, over and over.